be able to do because it's going to require someone special. I have my mind set on one person. What do you think? You want to try this? You want to try it? Come on. Uh, she's seen this before, and I'm asking an audience member, she's seen it before. So let's see if we can make this work. All right. Now, for the next act, ladies and gentlemen, of course, you're going to notice this coffin like sarcophagus with the slits way up in the top and the bottom of the box. And we're just going to call her Mary for now on. Yeah. Mary here, she fits oh so nicely from the tip of her toes all the way up to her pretty little face. I'm going to seal the box, nullifying any chance of escape. So keep a close eye. Say goodbye. Don't do it, Mary! Now at any point, if you feel that you need to get out, just let me know and the stunt is over. Okay, are you ready? Now this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring your legs up all the way right there, just like that. Now I'm gonna take the first box, and I'm gonna cut the box directly in half. Now much like the first blade, I'm gonna take the second blade and I'm gonna cut the box again in half on this side. Now for those of you up close down low and in the front row, you can see them as they go right through the top and right out the bottom of the box. But I still have many more blades to go. Now ladies and gentlemen, as I insert each and every one of these blades, that lovely lady, Miss Mary, she's still alive on the inside. And she's contorting her body like a snake or an octopus would wrap itself around its prey. Wrap itself? Wrap itself. Wrap itself? Wrap it. Okay, you don't have to wrap this up. I want to get drunk. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Ladies and gentlemen, we're traveling the world over, performing these here stunts that you've seen tonight in front of fine folks just like yourselves as we support ourselves to get from one point to the other and teach a little bit about sideshow, sideshow history, the crazy things you can do with the human anatomy. Now, brothers and sisters, in just a few moments, each and every single one of you, you're all going to be invited to come up on the stage and view the spectacle for yourself. That's right. Now, you may be asking yourself, why would he do that? Uh, hey, Bryce? Yes. I uh, sure. just want to ask you a question. Uh-huh. Why would you do that? Well, I'll tell you. You'll see the difference. Oh, she got a big old booty. <laughs> the difference. Are you okay? The difference between a magician. And the sideshow performer, which we are. Yeah, they're uh, way more talented. Just saying. And the sideshow performer, which we are, is the magicians. Well, they've never show you their tricks, now would they? Uh, they, uh, they, they? They don't like that. Do you know why? Why? Because tricks uh -huh. are for hookers. And we like those ladies, don't we, sure. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I spent all the Amber's money. Yes, Amsterdam last month, yep. Yeah. Now, like I was saying, not yet, but in just a few moments, each and every single one of you, you're all going to be invited to come up and view the spectacle that I hope how you're doing in there, Mary. She's good. Okay. Now, Mary here does request two simple things. First and foremost, we're going to do this in an orderly fashion. Not yet. Not yet. But in just a few moments, we're going to form a line right over here. That means you're going to enter right over here by the security guard. Not yet. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. You're going to enter upon the front of the box, looking down but not touching the spectacle that holds. You're then going to exit off this side of the stage and come right back out to the front. Now the second thing that Mary here does request, of course, is a small donation, like a tip at the bar. 
So if you enjoyed the show, ladies and gentlemen, your contributions, the very, very much appreciated. And it's totally up to you, whatever it is. It could be five bucks, that's cool. It could be 10 bucks, that's even cooler. It could be a hundred dollars, if you so choose. And if it is a hundred dollars, Larry here, she's going home with you. Somehow, right, Charlie? That's right. <laughs> that bus is parked right outside. <laughs> That's right, Charlie. Okay. Now, if you don't have a dollar, it's okay. Because we also accept. Venmo! Venmo! We. Oh, no. Oh, so, whatever your donation is, have it ready because it does require a donation. Have your donation ready and drop it inside her box. The blade box, that is. It's not that kind of show. So come one, come all. We got to ask you to come quickly. As you can imagine, she's wrapped, trapped, twisted, and contorted, mangled, and tangled around each and every one of those blades like a snake or an octopus would wrap itself around its prey. All right, she's good. She's good. We got time. We got to do this quickly. Now have your donations ready and drop it inside her box. Hellsapapa.com because we're going to be Thank back so here much. in Louisville if you're here. If you're here, we're going to be back later this year. And we're all over the country, Canada, Europe, and Scandinavia. This One more time, all the way from Daytona Beach, Florida, Mr. Short E. Dangerously. All the way from Portland, Oregon, ladies and gentlemen, big round of applause for Mr. Nick Sin. Brothers and sisters, they're coming all the way from Las Vegas, Nevada. Please welcome back Mr. Ryan Stock. And Amber Lynn. These guys have been a lot of fun. Now you want to keep your hands going for your host, your MC, the curator of all these streets, the governor himself, Vice Prince. Ladies and gentlemen, we are Hell to Poppin'. We hope you enjoyed the show. And if you did, we ask you to please tell your friends. And don't forget, hashtag. Hells are popping and all your photos. We're going to be down at the merchandise booth in just a few moments. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we got t shirts for sale, we got hoodies, we got posters. Come by and get a poster, a picture with the cast. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.